my name is Grace Wanyura, and welcome to the channel Horse Pro, where I endeavor to empower the amateur horse enthusiast and support the budding professional. Before we get on to today's juicy topic, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, as well as hitting the notification bell to be alerted of any new videos, and the like button if you find today's information to be of value. And what is today's juicy topic? Well, it's something for both the professional and for the amateur or junior rider. When, when is it right for a rider and a horse to move up from the three foot or three foot three, and that could be the children's or adult three foot ring, and the three foot three junior slash amateur owner ring, into a three foot six division. And that could be the junior hunters, or that could be the amateur owner three foot six. Now this is a really interesting dilemma because a lot of trainers have different attitudes on this. So I'm only gonna give you my opinion. Now many people say you must win your way out of the division prior in order to move up a level. And for many divisions, especially the jumpers, this can often be the case. I found it a little different in the three foot and the three foot threes because for some reason, that jump into the three foot six junior really has a, a vast impact on a horse and on a rider. And over the years, I think I figured it out in my mind or in my experiences that it has to do a lot with the confidence level. It has to do with the rider not just doing it sheerly out of bravado or thinking they should, but they really have to be enmeshed in their skill level and the horses really need to be trained. So I don't find it a value if you win your way out of three foot or three foot three, because at three foot six, we have to make sure with the distances being just a little bit longer, with the boxes in front of the jumps being just a little bit bigger, we have to be a little bit more cognizant of the fact that the horse does need, for instance, four foot scope in order to comfortably jump around three foot six. And a lot of three foot three horses simply need to be a smidge better than three foot or have a smidge more scope than three foot. So it puts trainers in an awkward position because sometimes you have riders who feel they're ready and they may not be ready because their lower leg or their understanding of the canter leg to hand may not be there, but the horse may also lack in enough step or enough canter back to front. So the way that I always looked at it was there was a rite of passage or a series of tests or answers a horse and rider needed to accomplish. And this wasn't done cognizantly. This wasn't something I set out and told horses and riders, but through certain exercises that I had them perform, it gave me an understanding of whether that horse and rider combination were ready to move up to the three foot six level versus stay at a little bit lower height or whether, for instance, was the rider ready and the horse not ready or not capable? Or was the rider possibly not capable at this moment in time and the horse ready? So it gives me, uh, it gave me assurance when I did certain sequences and certain lessons, I could see what the reactions were, the thinking time, the understanding for a rider to ride back to front. At three foot six, a rider must have more than desire. A rider must have more than, for instance, a seasoned horse. A green rider going into three foot six, we see it all the time. Very nice horses get purchased. The rider sometimes survives it really well and sometimes hits a lot of stumbling blocks and may need to step down before stepping up. And that's because the canter and the back to front is really important, especially in the lines and especially in the triple lines where a rider must be aware of where the hind legs are landing on the entrance and how the hind legs are lifting the shoulder and propelling out. So in this event, I'm going to show you today 
uh, one of the exercises that I love to uh, use to see how a horse and rider combination are going to be able to handle it and whether they have the tools and the understanding of how to use those tools to step into the three foot six. I am using uh, Mary Ski today and her horse, Corey, who was a three foot horse that had won a few classes in Palm Beach, one in Ontario, and she wanted to move up to the three foot three and three foot six level. Now she, they came, they asked me for some help because the horse was uh, a little bit um, unsure of himself, not at the jumps, but in portions of the flat work in the corners. So we have worked for one year, and as you've seen in previous videos or announcements on Instagram. Uh, Corey and Mary have been champions uh, three times uh, this season already. And this is one of the exercises that we did last week in a lesson. And I said to Mary, after one year and all the work we put in, Corey is finally ready and so are you as a team, as a unit to comfortably move to three foot six when and should you wish to. So I'm going to show you that exercise so you have a full understanding. And just so you know, one of the elements is cantering in a vertical, in a 10 stride line, going to the walk, and then absolutely cantering back out and making sure the canter in and the canter out are exactly the same on both jumps and they must mirror each other. Just so you know, last year, we couldn't even at a low height get a trot in the center, let alone a walk in 10 strides, the horse would tow her down. So I think it's very interesting for you to see the elements that I think are very important and the instincts a rider has to have and the training a horse really has to have to be a safe, rideable, competitive horse in the three foot six ring. Now, I'm also going to show you a round of a very skilled junior rider, a 15 year old, riding a greener small junior horse from Europe in the handy and you can see the relevance. And if you watch the canter in the show ring, you will see where that rider is actually riding. She is riding each stride up back to front. So she's ensuring the wither is up and she's riding back to front. So I hope you enjoy this video. As ever, I am going to show you on a whiteboard the exercise. Then I will show you Mary Ski on her horse, Corey, performing it in a lesson, a regular lesson, just as always, not taped specially for Horse Pro. And then I will show you Miss Emma Callanan riding Crown Meadows, uh, which is a Canadian company, hooray, from Ottawa, her, their horse Catano, winning the Handy Hunter round in Swan Lake. Mary is going to demonstrate for you, and it's one that I find very valuable in using to test a horse and rider to see if they're ready to go from three foot three to three foot six. Basically, I will show you the first half in the blue and then the second half in the red because it is a bit convoluted. So off the right lead, Mary will come and jump four strides, a vertical to an oxer and a bending in five, a bending in five to a single vertical. Now that four stride right off the hop is there to make sure that the rider can have enough canter to jump in and march on up a four stride and do it with the horse pushing itself, not pulling itself. Then on the bend, it's to see whether the horse can lift its wither, sit correctly and find a straight ride out. Then off of a left hand curve, we jump in a vertical. 10 strides roughly is the spacing to the next vertical, but we are going to walk in the middle and the walk must be properly done back to front, the horse sitting, walking, back into canter and canter out. Now, this fence here will always work if the walk transition was correctly done. Now that's very, very necessary because as we all know, in a line, especially at three foot six, 
the rider, even more so than the horse, must understand what it is like to ride a back-to-front canter, and that is exactly what we're testing here. Then we come off the left. We're going to jump an angle on the oxer to an angle on the vertical in four, and that tests our straightness. So if we envision that as a diagonal line that we were heading to head on, that is exactly the quality of canter we have, but by putting it on an angle, the rider has to be even more accurate with their leg. Then around the top, absolutely straight back over our vertical towards home, land, sit up, organize the bend. So we tested the right bend here. Now we have the left bend, sit up, canter out, perfectly straight and in balanced and complete the course. Beautiful, that's what you wanted. Bye. Good job. with us for the second round of our Junior Hunter Classic with a first round score of 80. This is number 826, Caetano and Emma Kellinan.
found the whiteboard information that I provided, as well as Mary Ski performing the exercise in a regular routine lesson, as always, not specially prepared for Horse Pro, but these are regular exercises that I would do, and you are seeing riders learning to perfect their craft, not professionals, riding today. And of course, I'd like to thank Miss Emma Callanan on Kaitano. This is a horse owned by Crown Meadows, a Canadian company from Ottawa. And I would like to congratulate them on Kaitano and Emma winning not only this handy hunter round that you witnessed, but every round they did that day. The horse is fairly green to that level. And Emma, who has ridden the junior hunters for several years, did a fabulous job riding back to front and has done a great job all season getting him to this level so far. Again, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to presenting you with my next video very soon.